Hey guys, what is up and welcome back to my channel. My name is Ilona and I'm also in Chicago Transformations. I'm an online health and fitness coach and I'm also a bodybuilder. And today we are gonna do a reaction to Chantal. I haven't done a reaction to her in well over a month I think. So it's Vlogtober day four, Little C's deep dish pizza and the ultimate fall tag. That could be fun, we could play along with her, do the fall tag. I'm a bit confused, I don't understand why she's eating Little Caesars because the last time she went on a, a health spell trying to lose weight, it was after eating Little Caesars. Apparently it upsets her more so than other fast food. So I can only imagine what she feels like after this. So just in terms of channel updates, I am also doing Vlogtober, so be sure to check out that playlist. It's there. It's mostly just me cooking and eating to be fair, but alas, I'm doing it as well. I filmed and edited the Amberle, eating like Amberly Reed for a day, which was very eye-opening. I can now understand why people who eat a lot of processed fast food, junk food, why they keep eating it because it gives you the worst cravings. I had terrible cravings the day after and it's a good thing that I don't have food in the house that is snack food, junk food, because if it was there I would have eaten it, but luckily I don't keep stuff like that in the house, so you now it was just a case of mind over matter. I do get hungry, I do get cravings, so it's just a case of what do I want? Do I want to feel better? Do I want to drop the water? Or do I want to eat the food? Usually speaking, me wanting to look a certain way and not feeling bad after eating food not because of guilt, because it makes me physically feel like shit. You're right. I can already see the comments. That usually wins in terms of the battle between the wheels. I also filmed uh, uh, the US Marine Fitness Test, which I'll upload later in the week. So see how that went. I also filmed my eating Dutch food. So I'm gonna edit that and upload that tomorrow. And what I wanna do for Halloween is I have a very exciting live stream planned later in the month. I'm super, it's gonna be probably one of the most favorite, one of my most favorite live streams, one of my most favorite videos that I have done. I'm really looking forward to it. So just ironing out some details. And once I have some more, I'll be sure to update you. And lastly, go into my community tab because I, what I want to do is I want to do a live stream with you guys in terms of actually invite people on as guests. I think we should get together and just listen to spooky stories, ghost experiences, possessions. I want to do a live stream where I invite people on and you guys tell me your stories and see which one creeps me out the most. And the winner is you'll just be the winner of the most scary story. <laughs> Simple as that. But if there's something you're interested in, go to my community tab and vote for what time is best for you because obviously i do have a very split audience and i'm gonna have to cater to the majority unfortunately but go over there and then probably tomorrow once we've had enough votes come through if you are interested in potentially being on stream with me what i'll do is i'll make a community tab with my email details and then i'll get you to email me around and then i'll probably maybe get like six different people and then I'll work out a schedule, I'll create like a little uh, ma mailing list and then we'll work out the schedule between everybody that's there. So hopefully I won't get too many submissions because I don't know how I'm gonna pick the best ones, but maybe summarize, I know how to do it. In case I do get a lot, sometimes I get a lot of submissions. If I get 30 people emailing me, that's fine. You know, I would love to hear all of your stories, but the reality is there's no time for that. <laughs> summarize your ghost story, your experience, whatever, and then whichever ones I think sound the best, the scariest, we'll create a mailing list with those people and then between and then between all of us we can work out who goes on when and I'll set up a I'll set up a live stream and I'll just send you all the link and you can all join in turn as per the allocated times. I'm really excited for it. And my mum is coming on Saturday. So anyway, let's get into this video. I'll sped her up to one and a half. So here we go. Hello beauties. <laughs> Hey guys, hey, hey guys, hey. How are you? How are you? Welcome back to another video. She's looking very puffy. You can tell she's eating a lot of fast food. It's uh, the reason why I am really veering away from doing a lot of reactions is I'm just fine. Well, let me just move over a little bit so I can insert it better here. It's just because I find it very sad to see. And like, I, honestly, I don't even know if I'm going to make it through this whole video. We might look at the comment section, but it's, it's just sad to see people wasting their health wasting their life away and like I get it, it's addiction and all of that and I get you know once you get in a cycle it's hard to break but at the same time we are adults we do have to be responsible for our actions but 
I haven't watched any of her videos in quite some time and it's it's shocking that every time every time I watch Jen she's gained weight every time I watch Amber she looks like she's gaining weight every time I'm watching her she just looks like she's gaining weight you know at the cost of what though is is money really worth it I know that they will probably struggle finding other work besides creating content and you know it is a difficult time anyway to try and find work because of what's going on in the world but the thing is YouTube is not forever um, so it's always important to have something else to fall back on. Yeah, this is why I do online coaching as well, so I have at least a, definitely a second stream of income that I can rely on. In today's video, we are going to do a fall Halloween kind of tag. Got my phone here, and yeah, we're gonna have some Little Caesars pizza and my pajamas. These are my new cat pajamas. They are so cozy. You know, I'm a little bit of makeup laundry guys, but I'm wearing them. <laughs> <laughs> The pajamas look cozy. By the way, if you're wondering why this drink looks so rank, it's because it's got like this sort of, it's got like a, a joint supplement through there and it also has like greens and things like that. So um, it tastes nicer than it looks. It looks like pond water, but it tastes like mango. <laughs> All right, I'm trying the Little Caesars deep dish because I've never, ever, ever tried it before. So I just skipped a little bit because she's just talking about a cold water bottle and also about a grape drink, grape juice, grape soda that she's pouring. Whenever I say grape drink, it always makes me think of that Dave Chappelle skit. Um, yeah, that pizza looks rank. Mm, it looks awful. It just looks very greasy, very thick. I don't even like thick crust pizzas. Pizzas? Pizzas. I don't like thick crust pizzas. I always, whenever I order pizza, I always go for thin crust. I prefer that far more over a thick base. But that's just my personal preference. So, I don't know. I don't usually like to deep dish pizza, but I wanted to try the Little Caesars one. I normally like their thinner crust with like stuffed crust. So let's see how it tastes. <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with me today. Should we look at the calories for that? Just out of curiosity. So I just Googled the calories, which I tried to go into Little Caesar, which I can't do because I don't live in the US, so I can't, I don't have a postcode to enter. It looks like it's around 400 calories a slice. And she has here one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So eight slices times 400. All right, so that pizza has 3,200 calories for all of that. That's crazy. That's a lot, isn't it? So. Is that two pizzas? That looks like two pizzas. All right, that will be my thumbnail. <coughs> Is that not two pizzas? My favorite dip. Ever. He has even more than the creamy garlic. Barbecue ranch dip from Little Caesars. It is amazing, you guys. I love it so much. I love it so much. All right, so let's... She seems to be very happy today, doesn't she? She's kind of like in a hyper mood. Let's dig in here and then we'll get to the tag questions. Oh my God, it's really hot though. So I just got a pepperoni and cheese. How is that only 400 calories? That looks like it will be more than 400 calories, in my opinion, but then, I don't know, it could just be optical illusion of the way that the camera is angled. Because like when you get a normal slice of pizza, that's like 300. Maybe it is right, actually. Maybe, I don't know. Maybe there's not as much cheese in there. I don't know. All right, let's dip it. Dip it. First bite for you. Their dough is really soft. You don't guess Little Caesars over here, but isn't like Little Caesars a really cheap brand of pizza? Isn't it like the worst of the fast food or the worst of the pizzas, the takeout pizzas? But I could be completely wrong. All right, guys. Let's do some of these questions and feel free to actively participate. All right, let's do, let's do, let's do. And answer some if you want in the comments. I'm glad I picked this video actually. I didn't even realize, I didn't know what I was gonna do this morning. I just knew I had to do a reaction. Mostly, mostly I do reactions when I have updates from my channel. <laughs> yeah, it's the truth. But yeah, I'm glad I picked this one because this is gonna be a good one to play along with. You know, there'll be something to talk about. Question one, what did you dress as for Halloween? Wait, so I'm not really going to dress up, but I do have some interesting streams planned. Um, if I can do anything that is Halloween-y on the weekends and stuff, I will. I'm, I'll probably end up doing some things with, with my mum when she's here because she doesn't have to quarantine, luckily. So we'll probably go out and about and do bits and bobs. I'll probably look to do things, but, you know, at the end of the day, there's only so much you can do with what's going on in the world. So it probably will be things like going for walks, going to garden centres, you know. That sort of stuff. I kind of want to go to Ikea day. Yeah, stuff like that. Maybe go to a castle, go to a stately home, check out the gardens. That's the most excitement you can expect, except for a fun, few fun live streams. And if I do have a lot of interest for the ghost stories, 
I might do a second run of it the following weekend. So if there's a lot of interest in it, I could do it again the following weekend. I'm really looking forward to it. The last, oh, the last live stream is going to be amazing. I can't wait to share what I've got planned with you guys. Okay, so what did you dress up for Halloween last year? Okay. I didn't dress up at all. I don't really celebrate Halloween. It's not that big over here. You're kind of like when you're... Maybe it's changing, I don't know. It's definitely in Holland and Sweden they don't celebrate it really at all. Unless maybe you're like in your early 20s and then maybe like you go out with friends and you get pissed up and you may go to somebody's house and have like a house party. That would happen, but it's not really a big thing. Like I've never had kids trick or treating either. So I always do buy something just in case, but I've never had kids take trick or treating where anywhere I've lived. I don't remember. <laughs> wow. Did I even dress up? You guys let me know. I don't remember. Uh, I, yes. Last year was her cheese graveyard that stirred up quite the controversy. I was doing YouTube. I think I put some crappy makeup on. It was the pink wig in the cheese graveyard. 100%. What is your favorite fall food? Uh, I don't know. I think what I like about fall and like more winter time is that it becomes like stew weather. You know, just like proper warming. Is it soul food? Would you call it soul food? I don't know. Maybe. I don't know. Is soul food is that like supposed to be more like Caribbean? I kind of get confused with terminology sometimes. But that food where it just, it's just, it just, it warms your soul. Yeah, it does warm your soul. You know, it's, it's whole. It's it's hearty. It's warming. It's filling. You know, it's stuff that you just let cook for a long period of time. Like let lots of flavors uh, fuse together. That's what I think about when I think about fall. That's basically it. I don't really get into like pumpkins and stuff like that. Um, fall food? I don't know what is even fall food. Surely it's just like changing vegetables. Probably like stews, soups. Yeah, mm. same. Thanksgiving dinner. <laughs> we have our Thanksgiving in Canada here in October. I love having a Thanksgiving dinner. Meat pie, turkey, ham, stuffing. How can people not like Little Caesars pizza? Like, it's so good. Is it good or is it just her fried taste buds? Which by the way, fried taste buds, it's a thing. When I did the challenge of eating like Anne Boleyn and I had that Chinese takeout in the evening, my tongue was fucked the next day. Like genuinely, it felt like the first layer of skin was removed from all the salt in the food. My tongue was horrendous. I gained eight pounds in a day, but then by the morning, uh, four pounds was lost. So I gained overall within, uh, within a day, I gained four pounds. Eight pounds in the day itself, but in the morning, some some of it had been absorbed through the body, and it was four pounds. Crazy. So, but my favorite flavor, I like like pumpkin pie spice stuff. So, <laughs> I do like pumpkin pie stuff. Like I do like pumpkin spice too. It's nice. Although I've never had like pumpkin filling, but it's just pumpkin with cinnamon, isn't it? I think. Do you have any fall traditions? Um. Hmm. I don't know if I don't even know if I have any traditions. Maybe I need to start doing traditions, like for when we have kids. But I think I want to like walk through the forest and see the coloring of the, the changing of the leaves. That's nice. Thanksgiving. I like seeing the leaves changing. Mm. Um, usually tradition, I have to get something like like at least one pumpkin spice latte. <laughs> um, I like watching scary movies. Yeah, me too. Oh, me and Eva watched a movie yesterday. Uh, a Russian movie called Sputnik. It's quite good actually. It was different. It's a sort of like alien-y type movie. Alien horror. Thanksgiving would be the main tradition, I guess. Halloween traditions. As I've gotten older, I try to at least celebrate it in some way. But when I was young, I would always go trick or treating. But I would always like come home and watch the spooky specials of like, Are You Afraid of the Dark? Unsolved Mysteries would always have a ghost special on. So I don't really have any, but what I am starting to do more and more now is that around certain year events of the year, so fall, Halloween, I'm kind of doing a little bit of decorating. For Christmas, I'm doing a little bit more decorating. I never used it at all, but it's kind of nice when it's uh, coming up to a certain thing, like Easter, for example. You'd know, just like put down like a couple of like um, Easter colored things, maybe like a few rabbit ornaments. I'm doing stuff like that more because I think it'll be really nice when we have children that, you know, it's just gives like, I think when you decorate, it does put you more in the mood for that particular festivity or for that particular time of year. So it's like something like this, you know, for Christmas, I'll probably maybe get like some tinsel and maybe, um, I don't know, I'll look to see what kind of foliage stuff I can get for Christmas. But stuff like that, just to kind of get in the mood. 
yeah, obviously when we have children, we'll probably go trick and treating with them, I suppose. Unless with the new normal, you're never allowed to leave the house again. I don't know, but you know, that's a problem for another time. <laughs> for a few, couple of years in a row, my friends and I would attend at the Mayfair Theater in Ottawa here, the um, double bill of The Shining and The Exorcist on the big screen. Um. I do like watching a good horror movie around Halloween. I really hope they're bringing back the paranormal activities. That's probably some of my favorite horror movies. Because you don't see anything, I like the psychological thrillers, the psychological horrors where you don't see the ghost. The second you see the ghost, it's like, uh, I don't like it. But I like I like being creeped out where you don't see something. So I hope they bring back more paranormal activities. They were my absolute favorites. What's your favorite horror movie? Comment down below. Oh, and anything possessions. I love that too. I don't know. I, I don't know why. I just love really like creepy things. And it's not, It's I know it's not very good for your mental health, but I don't know, like documentaries on like true crime and yeah. Meanwhile, Evo just likes to, <laughs> Evo just, sorry. Evo just likes to watch his comedies. <laughs> but I don't know if they're going to have that this year. If they do, I might consider going. We'll just have to see. I don't know with COVID and everything, but all right. Put, what put, what puts me off going to the cinema is it's just so fucking expensive. Like, for what though? It's maybe for some movies, if they're like lots of special effects, it's kind of nice to see it on a big screen, but otherwise, mm. Although, having said that, horror movies are kind of good in cinema too, because you kind of like feed off each other's energy, right? What music do you listen to during the fall? Same stuff that I would listen to otherwise. By the way, thank you guys so much for all the recommendations of music. I have added a lot more stuff to my playlist. So always nice to explore and discover new music. People ask me to follow me, like my Spotify is Ilona Marais 1986. And that's, that's it, that's it. It's like nothing exciting. And I have like a gym playlist called Gym 2020 and like I'll add music into there. So that's normally what I do is I create a playlist for the year and then every new year I just start again. But I kind of end up, you know how you get like these daily mixes? That's kind of the stuff that I listen to. So like well, my, my daily mix, shall we go through? So my daily mix one, which is the most listened to, in here we have, got, we've got Witch House 40k, Rare Akuma, Triple One, Suicide Boys, Ghost Main, Terror Reed, Kill Station, Scarlord, Two Poor, Under Average Gang. That's kind of the stuff I listen to mostly. My, d my daily mix too is like Lady Leisure, Sir Spyro, Wiley. So it's kind of like more UK, UK rap. My three is uh, Cardi B, Nerd, N.E.R.D., Yellow Wolf. But it kind of like puts stuff in there that I don't listen to, which is weird. Because like I do like some Cardi B and I do like Yellow Wolf. And I do like some N.E.R.D. But all of the other music that's in here I, don't, I would never listen to. Then my fourth one is, so we have here like La Coca Nostra, Jedi Mind Tricks, Deck the Ripper, Spoiler Mammoth, Real Wolf, Real Wolf, Copyright, Mad Child. So it's that sort of, that sort of American rap. One of my favorite, one of the songs that I'm playing a lot at the moment is uh, Underworld 2, the metal remix by Real Wolf. So good. So good. And then the last one is probably like a metal remix, I would imagine. Probably have like a drum and bass one in there too. So yeah, then we have here like a metal one that's like Slipknot, Chimera, Oteb, SLA Dying, Kill Switch and Gaze, Skinned, uh, Lamb of God, In This Moment, Five Finger Death Punch, Hate Breed. And lastly, Conducting from the grave, through the eyes of the dead, fit for an autopsy, cruel hand, enabler, twitching tongue, justice for the damned. Because I'm kind of, I'm kind of re rediscovering my love for like black metal, death metal, not black metal, death metal. I kind of grew out of that for a while and then I got really into 80s thrash, but like I'm kind of going back into the death metal scene. So in case you wondered what my music tastes are like, eclectic. Sometimes I listen to co like classical music too, it depends on what I'm doing. I have... I don't do mainstream music, that's basically it, because I find it a bit boring, but some mainstream songs are good. Comment down below if there's any of this music that you're like, oh my god, I listen to that too. A lot of you guys will definitely listen to a lot of the metal. <laughs> It'd be happy to say I listen to goth music, but... Oh my god, I could, I, could never, I could never get into goth, because I find it too depressing, which is weird, because metal is quite aggressive, but I find like aggressive music, it actually helps, like, it makes me not aggressive. 
or it really helps me in the gym like i can channel my aggression but goth it's too it's too depressing it actually makes me down so i t i don't i can't do i can't do goth depressed mode i do start listening to like some spookier songs um you know pete has a halloween playlist but and maybe i can get him to let you guys know what it is one day um I like like typo negative. I love listening to black. Oh yeah, I do like typo negative. Is that goth? I suppose it is. Kind of. Some of it is. Some of it isn't. I do like typo negative. The guy died, didn't he? The singer, a while ago, I think. The one gets me in a Halloween spirit. He's got a sexy voice Wild though. Hall, Stigmata Martyr. Favorite spooky movie? You guys know this already. Um, I've already said it. all the paranormal activities. The Shining. Did you see that new Shining, um, Doctor, I want to say Doctor Dread, but it's not, but like something Doctor, I think. That was really, really good. I enjoyed that a lot. I don't know if I ever told you guys why The Shining is my favorite spooky movie. One, because I love Stanley Kubrick's filming style. Um, he's got a really amazing artistic sense when it comes to cinematography. The musical score, built suspense. Um, it's a story about a haunted, a huge haunted hotel. And ghost stories are my favorite. And he did it really well. Um, his reimagining of Stephen King's story. Yeah, I agree. The Shining is cool. Very cool. I don't even know if you've ever seen it. If he hasn't, we'll have to watch it. Because, you know, he's been kind of deprived for many years, having lived under uh, Soviet rule. And this is like, I kind of am taking the piss, but that kind of, that, that did happen. They didn't have uh, American TV for a long time. So there's a lot of stuff he hasn't seen. So. I think maybe like from the 90s, 90s onwards, they started getting some stuff. But it's only like becoming more open to western influences because bulgaria even though it's in the west it's still like eastern it's still considered the east in in the west if that makes sense but uh yeah it's only been like it's more it's becoming more and more but i think it's maybe since the 90s that there's becoming more and more western influence in terms of cinema and music and all that it manages to be one of the spookiest movies without even having a jump scare you know <laughs> a lot of our movies these days rely too much on jump scares and cheap scares I like that though. I kind of like because I am a screamer. I'm well, I'm that person that I will scream and then I laugh because I screamed. S'mores or pumpkin pie? Hmm. They're both. I've never really had either, but I think I would probably like pumpkin pie more because I would imagine it's a little bit more savory. Very different flavors. I'll say pumpkin pie. I like the spices in it. Let me know what you think. Hot chocolate or warm apple cider? Hot chocolate. Oh, well, I don't know. I like, I do like a warm apple cider or some, um, what do you call that wine? When you heat the wine up. What's that called now? I can't really think of it. Like, I can't really think of the name now where you do the wine with the spice and stuff. Like, that's well nice. And it's even nicer. The cider is nicer when you do the cider with the spices. Yeah, I'm all for that. <sighs> I'm looking forward to the Christmas markets. My guilty pleasure is a Christmas market. I love a German style Christmas market. I, it takes me like two minutes to walk around or like an hour, realistically an hour. And I don't ever buy anything. I just like to go and like go for the food because I always have somewhat different food stands. Expensive, but worth it. I love a German Christmas market. And I think when I do vlog, Christmas, not vlogs, but when I do vlogmas, which I probably will do, I might make a point of going to different, um, I might make a point of going to different Christmas markets in the UK. And if I do end up doing that, then maybe if it's any of the big towns that any of you guys are in, we can like organize a meetup. That would be fun. I'm well excited about that. Uh, but yeah, no, definitely, definitely the warm cider. I don't really like apple cider that much. You like pumpkin spice lattes? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What is your favorite day of the year? Halloween. <laughs> what is the best thing about your town during fall? It's it's new for me because I've recently moved here, but I'm going to guess it's just the area is very foresty, which means that there's going to be beautiful fall colours. I look forward to being able to walk around the lake when the weather is not this bad. I don't mind when it's a little bit rainy, but when it's pissing down, I'm not going to go for a walk. I don't, I don't mind getting wet, but there is like rain that's okay and then there is just torrential rain and it's awful right now. But I would imagine the lake is beautiful around this time of year. Done when the colors start changing they haven't yet which is late actually because we're in october already i would have thought that the leaves would start shifting but i don't know when it happens it happens quick right it's like it's beautiful for like a couple of weeks and that's it the beautiful changing leaves there's a lot of parks with beautiful leaves um sometimes you also smell that smoky the crisp fall air that like smoky hint of burning leaves excuse me that's what's really nice in bulgaria a lot of people do wood fire um they use wood 
to heat up the house. It smells so nice. Do you like going to the pumpkin patch? Yes. And I have it on my list of things to do. I don't even know if they have these in the UK here, do they? Comment down below if they do, because maybe I need to go and investigate that. Do you enjoy cracking jack o' lantern? Um, yeah. I, I, I didn't hear what she said there. Cracking jack or something like that? I don't know what that is. Is that like roasting the pumpkin seeds? My mom always did that. Oh, is she like carving a jack o' lantern? Is that what she said? I've never done it, I don't think. Or pumpkin? Maybe there's something I should do. Add that to my little things of t t things to do for Halloween. Car carve an actual pumpkin. I've never done it. Just together and then roast the seeds <laughs> and salt them and roast them. They're such a good snack. You guys do that? No, but I agree. It sounds like a good snack and sounds delicious. What is your favorite fall color? Red. Probably like that dark red, like burgundy red at the least. Turn. Me and Chantal are quite alike, aren't we? I'm just noticing that. We have quite alike and so different at the same time. It's quite interesting. In green. Not really an orange lover, but... I don't know that. I don't like yellow either too much. Like that burnt red color? Favorite tree? Probably a maple, I guess? I don't know. Favorite Halloween treat? I don't know. Never really thought about it. I'm not massively into candies. I do like pick and mix though, but that's not a treat. That's a selection of... Corn maze or haunted maze? In theory, haunted maze. But I think corn maze because they're more relaxing. You can just enjoy it. <laughs> you know what I mean? I need to write this down because these are things I've left and never heard of. So I'm getting some good ideas here. Um, why did you start your fall vlog or vlogs? I guess why do vlogtober? Because I don't know. I think it's just kind of fun. It's kind of good to have a schedule. It's kind of a challenge, I'm not gonna lie. I don't wanna film every day, I don't wanna edit every day, but yeah, it's kind of a challenge, which by the way, after October, it's gonna be my birthday in November. Put that down. I think we're probably gonna go away. We're really talking about, we're thinking about maybe going to Loch Ness for a few days around my birthday. So around that time, I'll probably just won't do any uploading at all. And maybe I'll schedule a video or two maybe go live or something like that but uh, yeah we're thinking about for my birthday going to Loch Ness seeing we can't travel anywhere else so we might go and explore the United Kingdom instead well we can't travel we just have to quarantine if you're going to certain places but my mom doesn't have to quarantine I don't know the rules are fucking weird I'm not making them regardless we're thinking about going to Loch Ness so I'll probably just have like a week off not uploading or something like that especially if I'm doing vlogmas every day um gloves or mittens Gloves, mittens are so inconvenient. Do you just like it's got like a massive hand, like stumpy hand where you can't do anything with. Mittens are so inconvenient. I'm not for that. I don't even like gloves. I don't understand like either how people train with the gloves because I hate it when I'm training and I can't feel the weight properly. I feel like I don't have proper grip. So yeah, I'm all for full flexibility. In fact, I'm actually getting into like the Vibram shoes and I ordered two pairs from Amazon because they're a bit cheaper there, but they're the wrong freaking size. They keep sending me the wrong size. But uh, I do have one pair of Vibrams because they're supposed to be really good for for posture and all of that, like the, 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 toe, the toe shoes. And honestly, like it does feel better to train them. I do enjoy it more. So I'm gonna order a, a walking pair for whenever I go for my walks, because I do that quite a lot too. And uh, yeah, hopefully I'll have like, my feet will like get a bit better and I'll have like less posture problems. I like mittens more, but I wear gloves. They're more practical. You enjoy rain, yes, I love rain. <laughs> if you could spend fall anywhere, where would you choose? Um, I think somewhere where they have like really beautiful forests and there's like lovely sunsets. So I don't know where that would be. Somewhere, a place that describes that. I don't know, probably like maybe Scotland or somewhere like that where there's a lot of history and a lot of spooky castles because like Halloween would just be so bomb to celebrate in a place like that. Or, you know what I mean? I was going to say like... California seems to have a lot of like good haunts and things like that, but it wouldn't feel like fall really because of, there's no like, you know what I mean? It's not cold enough and maybe it is, I don't know, but probably like somewhere like Scotland, Ireland, I had a bunch of questions, but I just thought it'd be fun. If you guys want to answer the questions in the comments, like I said, feel free. So I'm actually quite full. It's nice to see she didn't actually inhale the whole pizza because I was somewhat concerned that she was going to probably eat it all and i'm sure she will throughout the day that it will get eaten but it's nice to see that she paced herself and kind of like savored the food even though it's just pizza i know but it's nice i'm glad that this was a video where she's talking where there was a theme 
where you know she isn't just gorging herself into excess you can argue that it is but from what we are used to seeing from Chantal this is she's pacing herself and she's listening to her hunger cues and that's good to see so I'm gonna save this pizza for when I'm hungry <laughs> I'm like actually pretty stuff. That pizza is filling as hell. Yeah, I bet. So he's got his own regular pepperoni. I don't really. I wanted to try the deep dish. So, anyways, guys, I'm gonna go put this in my fridge. Alrighty, so that's that done. Um, I quite enjoyed filming this. I was, I'm not gonna lie, I was dreading it. I was expecting it to be quite a depressing video because it's just, I find it, I find it really sad to watch. But I was proven wrong. She did a tag. It was fun to play along. I hope you guys played along too. I'm looking forward to reading the comments later. I am so sorry that I can't go through them all the time. I do try to, but I literally get like an hour to, or two every day where I usually do the comments when I'm doing my cardio in the morning. And I thought, you know, I have like an hour or so to go through them. Otherwise, I'm just busy for the rest of the day. But nonetheless, I always appreciate you guys leaving comments where I can interact a will. Just know that I always work from the oldest one to the top, usually speaking. But uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this. I'm looking forward to reading your comments. And uh, yeah, stay tuned for some exciting, exciting, exciting stuff happening, hopefully on my channel. I'm excited. So I hope you will be too. But thank you very much for watching. Comment, like, subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Ciao.